In this video, we are going to learn three terms: collinear, coplanar, and intersection. When we have multiple points, regarding their relative positions, there are two special cases. One special case is all the points lying on the same line. Point P, Q, R here. They all lie on one line. We say point P, Q, R are collinear points. Co is the prefix meaning together. They are together on one line. On the other hand, if we add a point S that is outside this line, then we say point P, Q, S are non-collinear or point Q, R, S a non-collinear. The other special case is all the points maybe don't lie on the same line, but they lie on the same plane. Point A, B, C, D all lie on plane P. They are called coplanar points. If we add a point E here outside this plane, then you can never have a plane that includes E and other points. So we say point A, B, C, D, E together are non-collinear points. Remember though, if you have only two points, you can always draw a line connecting them so two points are always collinear, and when you have three or more points, they may be collinear, they may not be collinear. So they are non-collinear. Similarly with coplanar, two or three points, we always can find a plane going through two or three points. So they are always coplanar. But when we have four or more points, they may be coplanar, they may be non-coplanar, just like the picture here. For intersection, we are talking about when two uh, geometric figures meet each other. First case here is two lines, M and N, intersect then the intersection is point A. The intersection of two different lines is a point. How about two planes intersect? The intersection of two different planes is a line. Here, this line Q is on both planes, and it is the intersection of these two planes. 